In order to develop an hybrid application for iOS using the PhoneGap library, you first need to uh, browse the PhoneGap.com website and check the developer section where you can find a tutorial uh, for um, doing your first steps. Um, in general, using PhoneGap is about uh, setting up uh, a basic project, a skeleton project that uses the PhoneGap library and then and move forward with uh, putting your own code and implement the changes and getting the final result you want. So uh, browsing phonegob.com, looking at the developer section, you can find the, the get started section where you can find a short tutorial for getting started with uh, iOS. Uh, the first thing would be uh, verifying that you have everything you need. You need a Macbook, uh, you need uh, to have the Xcode, um, Xcode IDE, and you also need uh, the newest uh, iOS SDK. You can download these uh, for free, uh, and, you can, and you also need um, the Xcode command line tools. Well, if you uh, execute the Xcode on your Mac, here you can find within the preferences uh, the download section where you can uh, install the command line tools uh, as well as a simulator for iOS. Um, it would be best uh, using a, a mobile device. You can check, uh, you can use all uh, PhoneGap capabilities uh, uh, when using the emulator. It is a bit limited. You don't have all sensors, etc. But for the sake of keeping things simple, uh, during this uh, short uh, video clip and the ones that follow, I will use the emulator only. So after you install the Xcode command line tools and you verify that you indeed already have the a newest Xcode and newest uh, iOS SDK. Uh, let's move forward. Uh, the first step would be downloading the latest version of Apache Cordova. Um, Apache Cordova is the open source project uh, Funga developed, and you can download it here in this uh, link. So just click this link and get yourself to this uh, web page. Here you can download uh, this uh, uh, zip file. I already downloaded it, and I have it here in uh, in my downloads. Here it is. It's a 53.1 uh, megabyte file. And when you extract it, uh, you get this folder, and here you can find uh, a zip file, uh, Cordova iOS zip file. Uh, you need to take out this uh, zip file, I already did it, and I placed it here, uh, and after you extract it, you get uh, this uh, folder. Uh, Cordova-iOS and here within this folder you can find the bin folder the bin folder includes the uh, utilities we shall use in order to create the, the, the initial basic skeleton project that used the PhoneGap library so we could then move forward and implement our changes in order to develop the application we want uh, once you get this folder um, the simplest would be uh, opening the terminal. I will add, open it again. Terminal. This is the command line application you have on your Mac. And here I can do cd space and move and take myself to the bin folder. This bin folder the bin folder within the Cordova-iOS. Uh, this folder, Cordova-iOS, is what you get when you extract 
the code of a dash iOS dot zip file, a zip file within uh, the folder uh, you get when you extract the 53 uh, megabyte file you downloaded from the Apache uh, website. So I just point at this folder and drag it to my terminal and now pressing enter and I will find myself uh, within the bin folder the bin folder where we can find all of those utilities we need in order to create a simple basic skeleton project now let's get back to the tutorial here you have exact explanation how to create that project you need to use the create utility within the bin folder you also need to specify where you want to uh, uh, get the, the folder of your project so let's uh, open the terminal and follow those um, instructions so in order to uh, execute the create utility I just type dot uh, slash create mm -hmm. then I need to specify the location where I want the project to be saved so let's say that um, I already have a folder its name is Cordova 2.3 uh, the tutorial recommends that we create for each uh, Cordova uh, SDK a, a separated folder where we keep all projects so let's say that when using Cordova uh, dot, uh, 2.3 yes, in my case let's say that we already have the folder code of a 2.3 where all projects should be kept and here in the, within documents you can find the document 2.3 I already have one project, the hello project uh, so let's create a new one, let's name it uh, hello students and get a new folder, its name is hello students to be within code of a 2.3 the folder where we keep all projects each project in a separated folder so let's get back to the tutorial and follow the instructions so let's just switch back to English so document uh, slash Cordova 2.3 slash and let's create a new project uh, that will be kept within a folder its name is hello students so we shall have uh, two folders within Cordova 2.3 just to remind Cordova 2.3 is the folder I created for uh, uh, keeping all projects I developed using the PhoneGap library uh, I already have the hello world project and now I'm going to have a new one its name is hello students okay so I specified the project location and now I should uh, specify the package name uh, so let's keep on with uh, the one suggested by the example uh, once you get to the um, to the app store and place uh, your own applications uh, for sale or free download on the app store then you will of course need to get uh, a package name unique for yourself um, but to keep things simple I will use the package name shown in the tutorial for the time being so org.apache.cordova.lo students uh, now the third uh, argument I should pass over to the create utility is the name of the project I want to create uh, the name is hello students so I just type hello students enter and voila the create a utility has just created within the Cordova 2.3 uh, folder a new folder its name is hello students and within that folder we can find uh, all files including the Xcode proj uh, file uh, through which we can open this project in uh, our Xcode IDE so the simplest would be just double click the Xcode project uh, file and 
here it is, the project is opened within the Xcode IDE, and we can now uh, go over the files and find, uh, for example, within the classes files, uh, app delegate that uh, specify, for example, the start page um, and HTML file within the www folder. It's just a simple HTML file that includes uh, JavaScript code, HTML, etc. that use the PhoneGap library, um, the Cordova library. So we can now execute this project and see the output. When the index.html is generated, here it is, the index.html. We can just take this code and continue from here um, in order to develop our own application. So let's just uh, execute this project on the iPhone 5.1 simulator. And here it is. Voila, uh, the first Hello World application using the PhoneGap library is ready for us. So we can now move forward and implement the changes we want in order to get uh, our own uh, PhoneGap based um, hybrid application for the iOS platform.